Basketball season's underway. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to take ESPN's Basketball Power Index, BPI, and create a projected box score. Hello, everyone. Jonathan with Excel Bets, and thank you, first off, for everybody who, last couple of videos, gotten a lot of comments, a lot of interaction. I really appreciate that. It makes when I do videos seem more exciting if I know others are watching it and interacting with it. So I, I definitely appreciate that. And, uh, I know that the last two have been just pushing some models that I built. And in today's video, I'm going to kind of give back some of the love and give you all a option to download a free model. So hopefully that is exciting. I will have a link in the description. I just ask if you do download it, please uh, like and comment. That really helps the viewership. And with that, I'm going to walk you through ESPN has their basketball power index. I've done videos on college football and NFL and today it's going to be on basketball looking at the NBA and here's what the the power index looks like for basketball they call it BPI instead of FPI it's got the teams in rank it's got their their BPI score and then it's got an offensive defensive metric and then it's also got this playoff BPI which will definitely be more interesting as we get into the playoffs but right now we're looking at regular season so we just want to use this BPI number and the offensive defense and at the bottom it tells you what it's supposed to measure and it accounts for game efficiency, strength of schedule, pace, days of rest, game location, and preseason expectations. And the power index is supposed to measure the team's true strength on a net point scale and its expected point margin versus an average opponent on neutral court. So how I interpret that is these are points above or below an average team. And then the 4.8, how do you split that out? You're going to gain four points by an offensive power of the Celtics. So their offense is providing four points above an average team and their defense is providing 0.8 points. That's how I'm interpreting this. And that's how I built the model. And that's how I built the calculator I'm giving you. So with that, I'm going to flip over and show you what I've got. Again, this is going to be a free download for everybody. And you can see here, uh, we just can select our, our teams. We will punch in the offensive defensive numbers. that will sum up the BPI got a home court advantage that you can toggle I would say target around that two to, to three and a half value um, I have two and a half in there now if you do some Google and you can see that it's typically two to four points is what a team's going to gain from their home court obviously that can vary quite a bit so I allow you that ability to plug it around with that and you can see we plug those numbers in we get a spread value we're going to get total points for each team, which gives us a total to, to bet over unders on. And then we're gonna get a win percent. And I got the break even odds in American odds format off those win percent. So this gives you a spread bet, an over under, and a money line bet all to, to work with. And with that, I'm going to flip back to ESPN and let's just pick two teams. Let's pick a matchup. We got Pacers Magics tomorrow. So Pacers at the Magic. And let's just plug those numbers in. Let's go to our BPI numbers. So the Pacers, we got 1.9 and minus 1.4. Okay, and then we have the Magic. It's the home team. Let's flip back, see what their ratings were. Minus 1.4 and 1.9. Okay, and then we can keep that two and a half home court, or you can adjust it up to three, whatever, whatever you think makes sense. Um, we'll, we'll leave it at three. So we've got our offense, we've got our defense, we've got our BPI. So it's basically 0.5 for each. We can flip back here. You can see some of the rounding. We got minus 1.4 and plus 1.9, but essentially it's equal matchup and then you've got the the kicker of the home court for the magic so that spread value it's pretty simple to look at it should be a, a minus three spread for the magic and here's where we got our point value so 22.4 so this is a a really even split so their offense is going to provide 0.5 and the defense is going to take away 0.5 so your, your total is going to basically be at whatever average you're calculating. And I've got a link here. So 
the average NBA team in the 23 through 24 season average 114.20 points. So multiply that by two, you're going to get your 28 to 228.4 value. And then from there, I've got the Pythagorean theorem. I've got a link in here of Pinnacle Arbor that shows what that is, but essentially it's going to take the points for, so 112.7 to a coefficient. 16.5 is a really good coefficient to use for NBA basketball. And you're going to divide that by your points for to the power of that coefficient plus the points against to the, the 16.5 coefficient. It's that simple. And you can see we've got exact win percentage for the Pacers and the Magic. Totals 100. And then we can just convert that to break-even odds. So this example I don't think could have been... <laughs> more just to the book uh, and the fact that all this just kind of nets out. So let's pick a different one. Definitely doing this live here. So let's do Buck Celtics. I think that'll be a better look. So we got the Celtics, the best team right now in the NBA, four and 0.8. Okay. And that was the Bucks. Let's will bring us some different numbers. So this is be a second example, 2.4 and 0.2. All right, here we go. So we've got some differences here. We've got offense and defense for both teams positive. So it's contributing up to above average net margin. And you can see we've got a three point home court advantage for the Celtics. That gives us a spread of minus 5.2 and plus 5.2. So we're adding 6.4 points to an average point total, and then we're going to take away one point. So you can see we've got I've got that math here. So we're going to take F11, 6.4 minus the defensive, which is a positive defensive metric, minus one, and then we're going to take this 114.2, multiply that by two to get a 233.8 over under value. We've got our point totals for each team. And we're coming up with a minus 208 break even odds for the Celtics and plus 208 for the Bucks. So that is how you can set this up. And that's how I'm interpreting the, the BPI and be able to create a, a betting model off of it. With that, I will say I do have, and I'll have a link in the description, a comprehensive betting model that's going to allow you to do a drop in of the schedule. It's going to have a Power query to pull in the BPI values, and then you can do, you can look at all the matchups. It's going to highlight if it's a positive EV bet or not, tell you the exact bet size. So very similar format of the recent gradings models I've put out there. So just want to let you know I have built this model if you're interested. But if you just want a free model and want to be able to play around with it and have it to download, I have a link in the description. It's actually going to be to a new platform something i'm this is definitely in beta by the way so um there i fully anticipate there could be some kinks but it's excelbets.com so this is a website that i'm building to host my models and any information i put out there and if with it you can go to shop click basketball i've got a couple models out there and then you can see we've got this zero dollar free calculator what i just walked through so you just click add to cart put in your email and you can download that for free and uh, this is going to be a platform where I'm going to put all my models. I still have my Etsy page live. So if you've been purchasing from me in the past, you could still purchase via Etsy. But I do want to provide a, a second option. And you can see I have this subscribe for unlimited betting model access. So uh, I do have this option where if you want to subscribe, it's an annual membership. You will have access to every single model I've ever built. They're still getting uploaded to the website, so it may not be available today. Um, but over the next couple of weeks, they will all be available. So if you buy that, you can download the models. Anytime I have any updates, I'll highlight them. You can go re-download it so you don't have to worry about missing out on any enhancements I, I put out. And that way you don't have to keep buying one-off models. You can just have the ability to, to buy the plan and you get all the, the models that are currently on my Etsy page. So just want to plug that if anybody's interested. Um, like I said, this is definitely still in beta, so um, could be some kinks, but I, I will definitely work with you if there's anything that um, you have that's a that's an issue. But otherwise, you've got this. You've got basketball season, NBA that's underway. Uh, like I said in my last video, this is, I would say, the best 
sport to be betting on. So definitely be um, putting your effort into to NBA and then NFL and then college football and then college basketball. That's how I would rank the priority right now. Obviously, college basketball hasn't kicked off yet for the 24-25 season, but just wanted to plug that. NBA is where I would be your, your focal point for, for betting. I just think this is the, the best sport that provides the most opportunities. Otherwise, thank you for watching and God bless.